Hey everyone and welcome with me today in a new video presented to you by the Graphic Network channel. First of all, thanks a lot for choosing to watch this video and I hope it will give you what you need. So if you are still playing this video, just don't skip or look away because something is coming down and it's going to show up in seconds. back again and as you see here are the two Nikon DCLR cameras that I'm going to talk about and try to give a quick review about the main parts and functions between them so right now as you see we found in the right side of my hand the Nikon D7100 with its 18 to 105 mm and in the right side it's showing the Nikon D5100 with a 35 mm lens so just before I start, let me guys give a brief, brief definition of what, I am, of what I am going to review about these two Nikon cameras. There will be six core features and characteristics discussed in this video which are body and weights, button places, home screen settings, shooting menu, the LCD screen and video and the last one which is the SD card slot. So hope you are still with me and let's go forward to see all of this. The first thing that will be reviewed of the two cameras is the body and weight, which is known as an important factor for every photographer to look at before anything else. So let's take a look at this. Size and weight is a big decision factor when you are trying to find the ideal camera for your needs. When looking to both cameras here, we notice a slight difference in terms of size and body shape. The Nikon D5100 is a, is a, is a 128mm long and the 97mm up, while the Nikon D7100 size is 136mm long on 107mm up, which lets the Nikon D7100 a little, big, little bit bigger than the, the D5100. Speaking of weight, the Nikon D5100 is significantly lighter with 560 grams than the, seven, than the 760 grams of the Nikon D7100. So weight, weight is an important factor, especially when deciding on a camera that you want to carry with you all day. The Nikon D5100 may become a big advantage, especially on long walking trips. Also consider the lenses that you will be using with these bodies. Since both Nikon D7100 and D5100 have the same APS-C sized sensor, their lenses for a similar focal length and aperture will be similar in size and weight. The big advantage that the Nikon D7100 has over the D5100 is its body water and dust proof, while the D5100 does not feature any corresponding weather ceiling. And we'll finish this section by mentioning that the Nikon D5100 has a resolution of 16.1 megapixel, whereas the D7100 provides a 24 megapixel resolution. The second feature that we're going to see now is the buttons places on both Nikon cameras and how Nikon company adds or changes the buttons places according to the body and functionality of each camera they make which means that you may that you might find a difference in some button places from a Nikon camera body to another so let's go and see how is, how is this made in these Nikon D7100 and T5100 cameras the buttons of control that are shown on the camera body could also be a quite important factor of the role of the whole camera and for a better control and flexibility for every photographer's hands when he's using his fingers while shooting his best shots. Like I've said before and as you see here, we can notice that the control buttons of the Nikon D5100 are less or more not in the same places as those of the Nikon D7100. Furthermore to that the Nikon D7100 has known the addition of some buttons more than the Nikon D5100. 
I can't say that you will find a huge difference or change in the places of the buttons between the two cameras, but only a few ones and you will certainly not find it difficult to reach. For instance, here the difference in buttons between the Nikon D6100 and the D5100 is shown in the menu, the info button, the dial control, the ISO button, the live view button and the play button. And the buttons added to the Nikon D6100 are 4 or 5 ones and that's due to the new options or functions added to the camera. And right next here is another important feature that makes difference between the two cameras which is the home screen settings and how the Nikon D5100 and D6100 are presenting their essential shooting settings formations on the home screen. So let's talk about that. After using both cameras and spending pretty much time on working on their home screen settings, I must assure you guys that there is a huge difference in how the Nikon D5100 and D7100 are organizing their shooting settings. Just from the first look and how you all see here, you can notice that there is a big difference in the amount of information shown between the two cameras. The Nikon D7100 is showing a lot more information about the camera and shooting settings and you must be very familiar with Nikon body cameras so that you easily arrive to access and play between those shooting settings. What I mean by this is that you should not be a beginner photographer but a semi-pro or a pro one who has pretty much experience in, uh, and some years left in using and shooting with Nikon camera's body. In order to easily understand all the information shown on the Nikon D7100, whereas the Nikon D5100 gives you precise and organized information about its shooting information, even sometimes it shows you samples and illustrations of the way you're shooting your uh, or your photo how it's going to look, and, and somehow you will find it easily to understand and set up its shooting information, which could be a big advantage for the Nikon D5100 here in this part. Now let's go quickly and talk about the shooting menu on both of these cameras. And I've got to say that they are both very good. There are some exceptions between them, but Nikon almost didn't change very much here. As it appears here in front of you, there is almost no difference between the shooting menu of the two cameras and how its tabs are presented. Pretty much the same order, the way that you won't be confused while looking for a specific folder or settings when you change or upgrade to another Nikon camera. Even when scrolling down and up and in between the sections of the shooting menu, you will notice that both cameras have similar places. Names and options, also the theme, the style, plus the color that highlights the shooting menu remains and changes between the two cameras. Of course, I can't deny that you found some differences, but not too much, just some enhancements for the Nikon D7100. We're still gonna look to the back of both these cameras, and let's now talk about the LCD screen and video of both the Nikon D7100 and D5100 how they're looking, the display quality, the difference of size between them and if there is a probable advantage in the LCD screen between both of cameras. The first thing that you should know about the Nikon D7100 is that it has a viewfinder with a larger file of view of 100%, so a really good coverage of the work screen, has a bigger reach LCD of 3.2 for image review and settings control, which is slightly larger than the Nikon D5100 with only a 3.0 screen. The D7100 screen also has a higher resolution showing good image and video quality. The Nikon D7100 is a with a fixed monitor, the thing that lets the Nikon D5100 in the other side showing more interesting with a fully articulated LCD screen that can be turned to be front facing. So you can move it around, you can get some really nice angles, which is a big big advantage here for the Nikon D5100 which is very useful especially if you are gonna be shooting video and it will be appreciated by bloggers and uh, photographers who are interested in snapping selfies. In terms of clarity and brightness, even in bright daylight, both of these camera screens are incredibly good enough concerning shooting videos, well both of these cameras have some uh, pretty good video features. The Nikon D7100 is taking some advantage here and provides higher movie frame rates with a 1080p at a max of 60 frames per second 
versus a 1080p also for the Nikon D5100 but only at a max of 30 frames per second. In general, both cameras are really great in taking sharp and stunning videos but still the Nikon D5100 is giving pretty much good results than the D5100. And the last feature that I'm gonna show you guys here about both these Nikon cameras is the card slots or the storage memory. The good thing is that both both the Nikon D5100 and the D7100 write their files to the SDXC card. The Nikon D5100 has memory storage place of only one card slot. The D7100 home, uh, comes with a big advantage here and features a dual card slot, which can be very useful in case the memory card fades. You can use only one card slot or both of them. And the great thing is that you can quickly set up both SD cards in the menu settings of how you want them to operate for you. There, we, there you will find three options. The first one is the overflow, which lets you once your card slot 1 is full, it starts sending next photos to card slot 2. Next one is the backup, which creates a copy of every single photo you take from the card slot 1 to card slot 2. And the last one is the raw slot 1 to jpeg slot 2 which lets the card slot 1 stores the, the raw formats of image you take and the same image is going to be stored in the card slot 2 but in jpeg format so that in the end of the day you are free to decide which one of the two formats is good for you to export and work with and before i end out with everything here is a quick and simple illustration that covers the main files of photography with a comparison of the performance of the Nikon D5100 and the Nikon D7100 in these five main different files. So before you purchase a specific camera, this will help you decide which type of shooting you do most often and consider an option that suits it the most. And please guys, and from my heart, I really need your support and motivation. I have a lot of great ideas and wonderful things to show you here, but it's really hard to accomplish and move on without your support to this channel. So please take three seconds more from your time and move that little mouse arrow to the subscribe button and you may like and leave a comment of course if you like. So thanks a lot for watching this video with me, you are watching this quick review between the main features between the D, Nikon D5100 and the D7100, this is the Graphic Network channel, enjoy watching.